All right, let's take a look at this Jai fan. Plasma cutter. We're going to cut thick steel with this thing. Uh, this is provided to you by the same company that brings you best arc stuff. So they have a really good, cheap beginner welder that is so easy to use. I'll put a link in the description for that. So if you're brand new, you want a gas welder, they have one of those things that's so dirt cheap. It'll get you started. This video is going to be about this product here, but we're going to also talk about some of the other products they have, I'll put links in the description for those, as well as this machine. And we're going to demo this thing. Cuts up to half inch, half inch thick steel clean cut. I don't know if I have anything that thick, but I got something pretty thick. And we're going to cut through that thick stuff and show you just how clean it cuts it. it I used it already, and it works amazing. So let's get into it. All right, so this thing, I really like this one. Uh, it's really one of the best ones I've tried. Um, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to show you how it works in a second. But I just want to show you real quick the features that are here. Um, one thing, the size. So you could literally get one of these and one of these little Viver, uh, the nicer one than the Harbor Freight welding cart. You could even use the Harbor Freight one. But you can get the nicer one. I wish I prefer this one a lot better than the Harbor Freight. Um, this is from the Viver. I'll, maybe I'll put a link in there for this. Um, and you could probably get one of these small welders here. Or the Best Arc has one that's just very similar to this one. It's the easiest welder to use. And it's very small. And you could probably put both of them on top. Or you could do like I do. Put one below. There's plenty of space on one of these carts for that welder and or that plasma cutter and the welder it doesn't take a lot of space in your shop that one there that i showed you was the best arc below we will put a link in the description it's a little bit cheaper but it does not cut thick steel like this one does so if you're really liking to cut thick steel this machine right here is the one to get and it really cuts through very thick steel very clean so uh, i cut uh i'm going to cut some I think I got some 316s. We're going to see how big we got. I don't know if I have any half inch steel, but it says it will cut through half inch steel clean cut and it'll cut even thicker than that. Um, make it and, and makes it kind of rough. But you know, if you're, if you're like, if you're cutting up a car to, uh, to take to like the frame and everything, this thing here would just cut right through that versus using a cutting torch and gas with the price of gas for cutting torches. It's way cheaper to use one of these with electric power. If you have an electronic extension cord. So it, if you don't have a long extension cord, I'll put a link in the description for that. You can get one of these on Amazon. Really inexpensive, long extension cord um, for your 220. So really handy to have that as well. And you will need air. Uh, a decently small compressor can work with this too. So if you have to do it mobily somewhere, you could probably use, you know, a two horse, uh, four gallon unit and have enough air. And you don't have to stop every once in a while, let it catch up with you if you have a lot of cutting to do. But it doesn't use a ton of air. It does use some though. So you need air hose hooked up. So it comes with it. You have to put it on, but it does come with a uh, regulator or actually it's just a yeah, it's a pressure regulator right here. You turn this knob and that's your regulator and you have a water trap as well. And then you hook up. So, you know, if you're doing it, you have to hook up this hose. All it does is just push in here and push in there and the little adapters in here and also the air fitting. So it's all included in a very, very long ground. I mean, this thing's, I'd say the ground is about 10 feet and the uh the whatever it is cutting portion is probably 12 feet so it's pretty pretty long and it comes with that already and a really nice easy to read display so it's got a lot of features anyway that's all the stuff you come with 
we're going to get it right into cutting now so that you guys can see what it really does the link in the description this thing's dirt cheap right now i think it's less than 200 bucks look at that 55 amps i've got 100 pounds of air pressure to set the regulator you push this down and then twist it all right guys this is pretty thick steel this is uh quarter inch let's see how she cuts through that i don't know how much thicker i have than this so let's start with that so if you look here uh where i'm starting is actually the wrong place to start i would be better if i started on the other side but i didn't have any way to clamp it uh, going the other way so i was making a lot of slag which makes it difficult to pull it at a nice even speed and then if you can see here my speed gets a little bit more even i get a little void i go a little bit too fast and you can see that flashback from going too fast so uh it didn't get the best demo on this but you'll see in a moment that it did turn out pretty good i had to do it a couple times and there's some stuff coming up here that I can show you that definitely this thing clean cuts some thick steel. So stay tuned. Alright, so where I have a little bit of trouble is, if you see what happens, this isn't really the machine. If you get the slag going on the top, because like if I started down here and I started to go this direction, it would be a lot cleaner, but where I'm starting was on this corner where I'm cutting through. I mean, I don't know how thick that would be, but just to penetrate through that was a little bit difficult. But once I got through it, you can see it just started to really nice and cleanly cut it. But I missed a couple areas because I was going a little too slow, too, a little too fast. Because what happens is I run this against this and the slag kind of holds me up. So a little bit of practice. I know I could get a really nice clean cut with this. I mean, that's actually pretty good for a plasma cutter. Better than all the other ones that I have. All right, so this is 3 8 stainless flat bar. And they didn't say that it cuts through stainless. But let's just try it and see how it does. Um, I'm just going to free, well, maybe I should clamp this down. Maybe I should clamp it somewhere. Try and get, I was trying to cut it earlier and I was going too fast. And the same thing, I, the slag kind of holds you back. But let me try it over, right over here. If I see clamp it on there, then I'll just go ahead and cut that way. And we'll cut a line and then we'll take a look at it. All right, you guys, that's impressive. That's three or a three eighths stainless, which is definitely harder to cut than regular steel. And it just went through that like butter. The trick is, is having your straight edge clamped like the way I do here, um, because just trying to hold it on that thick of steel is very difficult. Usually if I do sheet metal, I'll just, I'll just hold the, uh, I'll hold this in there and I can do a nice straight cut with it. So let's try a piece of sheet metal and I'll show you how that works. All right, this is electro galvanized sheet metal, so it's a little harder to cut than regular cold rolled. So this is really cool. You can use this as a shear. If you can see here, the cut 
is, I mean, you can see there's some discoloration, but the actual cut is smooth and clean. And so is this right here. This piece, you know, you can take a straight edge and you can use a plasma cutter as a shear and do a fantastic job. Now, the problem is right here, I, I didn't get moving right away. If you let it sit on there too long, uh, what happens is it sticks to it. So you gotta just, as soon as you pull that trigger, you just start moving. And uh, then you'll get a nice clean cut like that with sheet metal. So cutting sheet metal is, is really, really good for plasma cutter. That's what they were originally intended for. But if you have thick steel to cut, like if you're cutting up a car, you're trying to uh, take one all apart, um, and you know you you, you know you want to demolition it or whatever, you know it's great for that too. It's also great for like building a trailer when you got to cut, you know, nice clean stuff. I could just kiss this with a grinder real quick. And it would clean that up. And cutting stainless steel with a cutoff wheel takes forever. It takes way longer than regular steel. So cutting a nice pattern out with this with this plasma cutter would save you a lot of time. So anyway, let's do something that I don't don't think it will do. It let's try cutting something with bondo in it. All right. So let's try that. All right. So. This has Bondo, super thick paint, uh, all kinds of stuff on it. And I played around with it earlier and I tried to cut through the Bondo from this side. And if you can see here, it had trouble keeping an arc through the Bondo from this side. But let's try it on the other side and see if, if it'll cut and just blow away the bondo on this side okay uh, and I cut some holes in rusty metal with it you see right here and it cut right through rusty metal a lot of plasma cutters won't cut through rusty metal as soon as they hit rusty metal they won't keep their arc this thing just I could just draw designs in that no problem cut right through it I'll demo that for you too in the same portion I'll just do a little cut here We'll cut through this section, then I'll flip it over and then we'll cut on the other side. It successfully cut through some of the gnarliest stuff, you know, Bondo covered stuff, you know, that's pretty amazing. This is a demonstration of Pilot Arc. See the flame? Just cuts through that rust like butter. So if you can see here, I'm cutting through dirty steel and this is eighth inch or hundred thousands just under eighth inch and it just cuts right through it doesn't care if it's dirty or clean and that pilot arc just burns its way right through that surface it starts easy ends up looking really nice and clean you'll see in a moment
I'd say that is about as clean as a whistle. Eighth inch. Just cut through that like butter. No trouble. This is still really hot. If you can see where I missed in the corner a little bit. Where I didn't line it up quite right. If I clamped it on there, I would have got it better. And then you can see how it just cuts straight. Nice and neat. So if you use a straight edge, if you just hold a straight edge on your plasma cutter and you put it on there, you can do shearing with this thing. So that, look at that. That's amazing. So that's eighth inch. Here's some regular, that's dirty eighth inch. You cut right through it. Here's some regular eighth inch. I'll just run a line through this side. This is just junk steel I have laying around. Um, don't have much junk steel because it's so expensive. So anyway, I'll, maybe I'll cut a piece out of that too. Just turn it like that and just cut a piece out of it. Take a look at that. That's pretty darn clean. Just a little bit of grinder kiss on there and you got a perfect nice edge. Look at that. And if you can see the other one, that was cut with another plasma cutter uh, that did not cut this clean. So this thing's really, really clean cutting, nice machine. Okay, the stuff I like about this thing is it's 55 amp, cuts through some thick steel. Second thing I like is it's super small. This thing is tiny, super small, compact. You could put this and a welder on your uh, welding cart if you have one with a wide enough platform. I think the one from Viver would be wide enough to run this and a small welder up there. Really neat to have that. Uh, it comes with the regulator. It comes with the air hoses. It has a nice long, the torch is really nice and long. Um, it's got a really nice readable display. It's all digital. Some of them aren't. So it has all that. And it, it works, it just does the job. So, um, it's, being smaller is nicer and having the, all the right stuff on it, which it already has. And it has the consumables that are not expensive. These consumables right here with this here, these two together. These are not expensive consumables. They're maybe a little bit more than some of the cheap ones, but I think all the pilot arcs use the same consumable. So, um, yeah, the, or similar to this. So they're pretty popular and you can get them very inexpensive. So overall, the price is amazing. You can't beat it. It's really a good machine for the money. So I'm going to run with that. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe.